<laughs> okay, well, it started nine years ago um, when Egla had a grant um, to promote children's social emotional skills um, mm -hmm. in the Czech Republic. Mm -hmm. And she invited me to come to Prague and give three days of teaching mm -hmm. to a group of preschool teachers. And it's continued every year since then, so it's now nine years. Um, and from 2014, we started bringing groups of Czech teachers to Wales to see our schools and to see the way in which our schools um, have worked with the centre to use programmes to promote social skills and problem solving. I think that we've um, moved in recent years very much into the idea that if we don't give children school readiness skills mm -hmm. of managing their own behavior, of um, socializing with other children, of following instructions, that then they're, they, they're not ready for school and they won't benefit from an academic curriculum. And in Britain in the past, probably children arrived in school to be given an academic curriculum. And to some extent, that was still the situation, I think, in the Czech Republic, that early years education was rather more formal mm -hmm. than it is here. And um, I always remember many, many years ago mm -hmm. reading about um, um, something in Australia mm -hmm. where um, Aboriginal children sometimes didn't even start school till they were 11. Mm -hmm. And in nine months, they'd caught up on the academics okay. because they had been learning okay. so many other things from their life with their families. So emphasis on the academics is pointless unless our kids are motivated to learn mm -hmm. and, um, and have the, the prerequisite skills. Mm -hmm. They're able to sit, concentrate, um, engage with other people, follow instructions. So, Well, I think it's great that, um, that Scholar Empirica has been promoting these mm -hmm. ideas now for many, many years. Um, and we collaborated on the big ES, um, um, big grant that produced the manual for teachers mm -hmm. that also included um, um, not only um, Czech Republic but Slovakia and mm -hmm. England and Wales and um, so I think that things are moving in the right direction. Okay. We often have discussion about the more challenged uh, disadvantaged mm -hmm. children mm -hmm. who tend to benefit less. We've spent time talking and thinking about Roma children, for mm -hmm. example, how to engage parents, because also we know that um, the involvement of parents in children's education mm -hmm. predicts good outcomes, independent of how intelligent the children are. If there's a partnership, it, it helps. So several things that we've been working on, um, me for the last 40 years altogether, <laughs> but, um, um, but, but with, um, with your group now for nine years to try to promote these ideas.